Hi everybody. A few weeks ago I made a series of videos having to do with, uh, first one was an analysis of Islam after reading the Quran. The second one is Islam compatible with the West and my understanding of Islam after reading the Quran. And uh, I got a lot of surprisingly great responses. I thought I was going to get a lot more criticism from people who are Muslim than uh, what I did. I still got a few criticism, but it was overwhelmingly positive. And for that, thank you. And thank you for everybody who's with their kind words and their encouragement to continue reading and understanding, which I am, and um, as well their own insights and uh, their own guidance as well. Like that, that's really respectable from um, from my end and uh, as well specifically having to do with higher morality and ethics which is something I actually will say I got um, out of the Quran being of great value okay so thank you I really recommend watching those videos as well maybe I'll leave in the uh, description below but this video I'm going to uh, personally respond because I feel like that's the best way to do it. I'm a really personal guy and I like to, I don't know if, if you guys watch my other videos, my channel, but that's something I commonly do because I, that's, I really would love to, you know, instead of just typing out a response, uh, be like, you know, face to face more as, as much as possible. I know on the internet and on YouTube to do that. So out of respect, here we go. First one from uh, Faisal Fiardis in, uh, sorry if I didn't get that correct. As a Muslim, I think, Thank you for willing to read the Quran. Me, myself, every time I read it, I always learn something new. So I encourage and welcome you to keep reading it over and over again. You are probably not going to understand certain or even most parts of it. However, by God's willing, he will enlighten the path sooner or later, based on my own experience. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, definitely I need to, if I want to understand it better, I need to take more time and, like, focus on certain things. as opposed to just reading it once and then just keep going. You know, I think this, you need to kind of digest certain chapters or verses, so to speak, and reflect upon it, right? It's not meant to be sped read through, right, super fast. It's meant, to, there's so much there, right? So, and also by other, by listening to other people, such as, uh, you know, uh, scholars or, or whatnot, you know, imams, they can, um, then I can also get uh, various other interpretations and you know, uh, like, I'm no Islamic scholar by any means. This is just somebody who's first being exposed to it, first reading it, and my interpretations, which I think is great. I, th I think that's something of value, and I, I know a lot of people appreciate that. But thank you for your comment. That last verse is a sign for you. And what he's talking about is, in, in the uh, video, I was just randomly opening things. In the last one, I randomly opened and picked something to read. and But I asked, I'm like, okay, pick something that's going to sum up this video and boom and it the verse was like I, I, I can't directly quote out the top of my head go go listen to the video but it's like explain exactly how the importance of the Quran to 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 people so it was like a, it's a beautiful thing I think that, that, that was a kind of like a epiphany kind of moment and maybe a sign right to, to learn more another one elevator pitch of Islam God created a universe based on physical laws and put man and jinn with moral code to test who qualifies for heaven yeah that in a way i've thought about that before myself uh, not, not necessarily in the same regards but that this is just a testing ground for our spirits and our souls whatever you want to call it um, and our identities to you know pass the test to move our way up the ladder of evolution spiritual evolution that is a definitely something that i've reflected upon and see validity to you know what I mean and uh, and maybe that there, there is something in the crown or even other religions even other philosophies that can help with that guidance next uh, comment firstly the speaker has earned my respect he was objective in presenting his views but in my point of view it was an observation on the surface his final analysis at the end was just fascinating he will read the crown again watch Till the end to find the real meaning of the professor's findings. Professor is a real lifelong learner. And well, thank you. That's a very nice compliment. And uh, that's all I try to do. I just try to be objective. I just try to be honest, right? And that's why I thought that maybe I would, I would offend some people just through my brutal honesty. But 
it is it is just what I saw. You know what I mean? I'm just reflecting upon what I saw and what what it meant to me. And but I also understand that it it was very superficial. You know, compared to somebody who's a who's been reading the Quran since they were a child in, in school, I'm sure, or goes to uh, your mosque every week or every whenever how often you do. You know what I mean? It learns learn it like three days of just reading it. Obviously, it is very superficial, but regardless, it is what it is. That's, that's what what I what I saw. <laughs> next next comment. Three days, holy moly, peace. Yeah. Well, my only comment on that is like I kind of have this uncanny ability to read really fast and. Part of that is because of my like post-secondary education, university and college. Like I used to read things so fast. I used to be the worst for last minute studying and I'd have to read a whole textbook within like the night before the ex exam for like biology things and all types of things. And somehow I passed those tests, exams, because I, my, my ability to read quick and interpret things fast is kind of supernatural, <laughs> put it that way. Uh, next question. Among other things, I'd like to say we're individualistic through our personalities, not just what we wear. Muslims are not just Arabs. All of Muslims around the world wear different things. Also, thank you for the time for reading the Quran. And what he's referring to is in the, in my analysis, one of the things was I, my sense of the Islamic world, they're a lot more collective. They lack, compared to the West, okay, this is compared to like, I'm looking from an outside source, right? And I know within the Islamic world, there's a lot of different cultures. You know, Morocco is not the same as Saudi Arabia. It's not the same as Pakistan. You know, it's it's all different. Not the same as Sudan or, or somewhere else, right? There's different, there's a lot of different cultures. And, there's, and it is kind of a mosaic in a way. And within those places, you know, there, there are individuals. Okay, I get that. But what, what I'm trying to say is here... And also in, in this, in like the the dress is kind of a reflection on that, is that there there is a lot there is a lot less variance, okay. And dress is a reflection of an individualism, okay. So there, I think compared to the West, there's a little bit less of that, okay. That's all I'm saying. That's all I was, I was saying in my last video. But listen to my last video and uh, and listen to what I say and let me know what you think about that. <clears throat> the fact that it is not groundbreaking is actually right on the mark. Islam is the continuation of monotheism from all prophets, including Adam, Noah, Moses, and Jesus. Mohammed is the continuation of the monotheistic message, since Jews' teaching have been changed and thus corrupted. Well, I can't speak on Ju Judaism because I really don't know much about that. Maybe I should look into that as well. But uh, what I can say is that I think having a well-rounded understanding of all different um, religions and whether like the messages of all prophets I think will give you a, a greater understanding and there is definitely value there to uh, you know it's not just like listen to one thing like I think listening to all things is, is great right listening to all religions and ma making up your own mind questioning everything and making up your own mind is key being a critical thinker Right, so that's my response to that. Sorry, man, if you think you will understand Islam by only reading the Quran, you are wrong. Even the Muslims can't understand Islam by only reading the Quran. Even Muslims, they need help from Hadith, the life of the Prophet, and also help from the scholars. Sure, you know, I think just reading one thing, you're going to get a really one dimensional view on things. Like, I want really just one look. I think they're looking at different interpretations, looking at all, uh, listening to other people. Again, going back to the last point, is going to have, you're going to have a well-rounded understanding and a holistic understanding of, um, of maybe Islam, but in just religion and life in itself. Okay. I feel you should read up a little more on Islamic history, especially post Rashidun Caliphate. Some of your conclusions are correct, yet some are just due to a few gaps in historical knowledge. Anyhow, as a Muslim, I appreciate anyone reading the Quran, and I hope it benefits you in one way or another. And I think that is something I'm definitely going to look more into, is uh, understanding uh, the history of Islam. Because, you know, 
understanding where somebody is or a group is, you got to look at where they came from before, right? And that's going to provide maybe a greater context in things and fill in those gaps, as you said quite well. That's exactly what that would do. So again, my in my further understanding, I will do that. So thank you. Um, where does it say you have to convert or pay the tax or get killed? Read Quran only. Don't mix things. History of Islam is another matter. You will not find it in the Quran. Keep reading. So, again, this isn't what, what he's referring to is when I, when I said in my last video that before Islam um, was to, essentially, when they were conquering new lands in this, like, warring time, right, they would, like, they, they, they conquered an area, say. That people, they, they really wanted to convert to Islam, and that's what they did do. And that's even what they do in, in recent history, okay? So conversion is essentially getting people on your team. That is a way of conquering people all through history. It doesn't matter if it's Islam or, or Christianity even, okay? Or Roman times, right? You conquer, and then you get people on board with your team, right? That's, and through conversion, you don't really have to conquer them through force, per se, right? It's through persuasion. The second thing, what he's referring to is the tax, is known as the jizya. Now, some people filled me in a little bit more about that. I didn't have a great understanding, but there are references in the Quran to the jizya, and that has to do with, um, historically, levied on non-Muslims living in an Islamic state. And I've heard... I don't know if they were imams or just it was Islamic scholars talk about this specifically. I've heard it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Okay, so this isn't just my opinion. And the last thing is through conquering, through uh, or, or get killed. The killed part. Well, that's through conquering. That's literally conquering armies. You're killing your enemies and beheadings and things. Was there ever a history of beheading your enemy in Islam? Yeah. And also um, enslaving, and historically speaking, even in relatively recent history, there is um, a lot of examples of that. Okay, of enslaving uh, people who are non-Muslims. It's just the way it is. Now, do all do modern Muslims agree with that? Or I don't know. I, I don't think so. Right. There are many places in the Islamic world, for example, Syria, secular place. Libya was um, different countries that, that have different tribes within it and in different religions. So, you know, I'm not going to paint a brush at all, all the Islamic world in that, and I'm not going to conflate history with uh, modern world, okay? Uh, laugh out loud. You really have a shallow vision of Islam. Keep digging, bro. Never claim to be an Islamic scholar. In fact, I agree with you on this. I'm not. But I did read it. Okay, can I get at least a little credit for that, for at least taking those steps in understanding? And my, my interpretation, I think, was pretty good. I got a lot of great comments on my interpretation. So I believe this is just an ad hominem, which is just trying to poke at me instead of actually what I said. But he's right that I'm not, that I need to learn more. I'm, I'm by no means an expert on this topic. Okay. Last comment, keep the videos coming, and I will. That's, I think, on my channel. I, my channel, I cover a lot of different things. You can check for yourself. You might Some things you might not be into, but I'm definitely going to focus, because of all the great attention I've got from you guys on this, I'm going to definitely continue down this path of pro providing content having to do with Islam. I'm going to continue learning and everything that I've learned if I have some more revelations I will relate here on this channel so please if anybody who's listening to this or who's commented hit the like button hit the subscribe button and keep posted on on, on other videos I make on this subject and I'm definitely going to continue um, keeping the videos coming as he said on, uh, on my understanding of, of Islam. And uh, thank you guys for all of your encouragement to continue learning. 
all of your support and your compliments, even the people with criticisms. Thank you as well. I really respect that as well. I can take a good criticism and I think there is some criticism where where's to because um, I need to be corrected at times as well. And obviously shown the path myself in, in understanding of your culture. It's not my culture, it's your culture. Who's, 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 Islamic, who's Muslim listening to this, okay? So please criticize me and show me Show me the truth in, in your eye and guide me towards greater morality. So if you have any of your favorite verses, leave in the comment section below. Any material or resources, leave in the comment section below. Or just comments and uh, things that you'd like to explain to me more. I, I would love to hear more of your guys' comments. And thank you for everybody's comments. And thank you for being on my page. I really respect that. Have a great, great day or night, everybody.